How's it going Capricorn? I hope everybody had an amazing weekend. We're going to get right into your June 2024 reading. So you know to take what resonates, never force anything to fit, um, but always head over and watch your rising, your moon, and your Venus placement sign readings for additional clarity and similarity. For those of you that are new, I am so grateful you're here. My name is Sam. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And guys, I'm giving away three free personal readings for the month of June. Um, so as most of you know, it's as simple as leaving an emoji down in the comment section. For those of you that are new, um, go ahead and subscribe so you can take part in the monthly giveaway. Um, and then new and returning subscribers, leave a vacation emoji. Whatever you feel is vacation in your, um, in your life, within your phone, emojis, leave that emoji in the comment section at the end of each and every month I randomly choose those people and I reach out to you through YouTube so I'll remind you the last weekend of the month to be checking your notifications all right guys let's get into your reading we have union this could be a business opportunity going into business with someone this also obviously romantic union for those of you that already have somebody in your life dating um, or involved taking it to a higher level but for those of you that are completely single possibility of love coming towards you romantic partner and then ice queen now with ice king i always get libra gemini aquarius vibes so you may have that strongly in your chart but this is someone who knows exactly what they want you know, someone who makes a head over heart decision. Someone who's been through difficult times and that's why they're so mentally grounded because of the growth that they have been forced to face. Now, that possibly is resonating with your energy. Cross watchers, you may be that. Oh, and we have soulmate union. Look at this. And we'll look what's at the bottom of the deck. King, Ice Queen and Ice King. I am definitely getting strong air energy here, Capricorn. You may, person coming towards you may not be an air sign, but they may strongly have air in their chart. Or it, like I said, it is the energy of knowing exactly what they want when they come towards you. This type of union, no games played. Both of you, see how it's kind of gray energy? You definitely have been through some struggles and you're not, it's like you'll compromise for the right person. But very guarded, standing your ground. And again, soulmate union. All right, I love this so far. Let's see what else is coming towards you, Capricorn, for the month of June. For the month of June. Dragonfly and World wanted to come out. Some of you could be vacationing in the month of June. Traveling for um, personal or work and meeting someone. And you are got, being divinely protected. Your angels are guiding and protecting you on your spiritual journey. Now we do have Master Number 2 here. Spiritual Number 2. So... You will be noticing that number throughout the month of June. You might be even noticing it as like 2 2, 2 2 2, maybe even 2 2 2 2. But 2 is obviously things coming together. All right, let's see what animal spirit that you are falling into the month of June. We've got 2. Grasshopper spirit taking a leap of faith. And lion spirit, be generous of spirit. So it's like having that faith, you know, even though you don't know what June holds for you, you don't know what the immediate future holds or the distant future, but having that faith that through 37 certain endings, it's only guiding you towards what you're meant to experience and live through in this lifetime. Having faith in your spirit guides and the universe that things will be delivered in the time frame they're you know in the time frame they're meant to come towards you 
being generous of spirit, trusting that spirit has got your back. And like I said, grasshopper spirit taking a leap of faith towards something. All right, let's get into your reading. We're using my vacation deck. For those of you in the southern hemisphere, I know you're entering into winter, but I mean, it is a vacation deck. We could take a vacation anytime. I get so excited when certain seasons start because I do have a fall deck, I have a summer deck, and I have a winter deck. Actually, I have multiple winter decks. All right, Spirit, what is coming towards Capricorn? from now until the end of June. All right. Four of Swords in reverse. Page of Wands, taking that leap of faith. What you're taking a leap of faith towards in this month, you have a lot of passion for. For those of you that it is a relationship, I do feel you will fall in love with this person. Eight of Cups, walking away from something, but walking in the direction you are meant to be. It's like you're exactly what you're, where you're meant to be. Anything that you walk away from in this month, it's only guiding you towards the path that you're meant to be on. It's like a reset button. Some of you, with the Four of Swords in reverse, it may be, Spirit coming through saying, it's time to take a break. It's time you're wearing yourself out. You could even be wearing yourself out within your thoughts. Time to disconnect. You know, and with the Four of Swords upright, it's an amazing energy to receive certain synchronicities from our spirit guides. You might have one specific synchronicity with your spirit guides that you may see often. For those of you that are open to it, repeating numbers, feathers, birds, ladybugs, rainbows. I remember one tarot reader when I was going through a dark night, a dark energy, um, and that's how my spiritual awakening happened. I they She would see coins, and coins meant like her ancestors were around. That was like a sign her ancestors were guiding her, her past on loved ones, and her spirit guides. I just saw a ladybug in my bedroom um, just a couple days ago. And you would have thought my, my fiancé looked at me like, what? And I said, do you know what this means? This has a spiritual meaning. I get so excited. He just looks at me. So be open to those things. But it's time for a reset. Time to take some, you know, timeouts for yourself. Maybe even take a vacation or some personal time. Yeah. I really feel like for some of you, it's like you're thinking about someone specifically. You're thinking about, you know, how your journey has gone and if you're exactly where you're meant to be. I do feel a lot of overthinking here. All right, let's see what else. All right, Spirit, what else do you have for Capricorn for the month of June? But give yourself some time. As I was picking up the deck, this did not want to be picked up with it. But I did put it in with the deck and it's showing up at the bottom of the deck. There is a breakthrough here and it's leading you to emotional happiness. Nurturing those connections that mean a lot to you already. But I do feel emotional happiness within a relationship. This is the best breakthrough of all. Archangel Michael divinely guided. The Ace of Swords, honesty, truth, long-term happiness. All right. And look, the grasshopper spirit is at the bottom of the deck, taking that leap of faith. There is something divinely orchestrated being placed on your path and your, it's wish fulfillment for you. All right, let's see. Spirit, why the Page of Wands and the Eight of Cups? Page of Wands and the Eight of Cups. The Knight of Pentacles. I feel for some of you, you've been waiting for this opportunity. 
bottom of the deck is the seven of pentacles so it's you planting your seeds you're waiting for growth in your love life or in just in life general again wondering if those seeds that you're planting those things that you're manifesting you know am i doing it right why haven't i received it as of yet and i know it's been a energy of watching and waiting it's slowly making its way towards you my spirit eight of cups and the Four of Swords in reverse. The Ten of Pentacles. We do have a cycle closing out here. We have 10, 10, and then remember 37, 10. A closing out of specific things in your life. I really feel like you're finding the strength to just see things as they are in certain aspects of your life. And it's going to be different where that is, depending on where you're at with your journey. But you're moving forward from certain things. There's certain things that you're leaving behind. And there's a breakthrough here that you're taking that leap of faith towards. Like I said, it is divinely guided. All right, spirit. Why the four of swords in reverse and the hanged man? The nine of wands. The wounded warrior energy. Yes, you're feeling guarded. But you're ve being very strong and persistent through your hardships. I really feel you're starting to look at certain things in your life from a different aspect. Spirit, why is the Ace of Swords and the Ten of Cups here? Ooh. And there's that leap of faith again at the bottom of the deck. We have the King of Wands, the Two of Cups, and the Magician. You have manifested this passionate connection. We have strong fire energy here, strong air, and earth. We have water with the Ten of Cups here, and the Two of Cups. But this is emotionally fulfilled within a love connection. You've manifested this type of connection in your life. Like I said, this person is coming in very passionate for you, very loving. It is a soulmate. So you have dealt with this person in past lifetimes. Now rekindling in this lifetime, kindred spirits. All right, let's see what else we can get. All right, Spirit, going in deeper, Ace of Swords twice, amazing, going in deeper for Capricorn. This is, there's someone, they have something to say. This person coming towards you with, effect, like, you know, the connection, what they're going to say to you, how they feel about you, you can trust their passion, you could trust their emotions for you. There's the Page of Wands again. When you have repeating cards from different decks in a specific reading, there's emphasis on that. So there's an emphasis on taking a leap of faith, overall happiness long term, falling in love, and the Four of Cups. You don't see this offer coming. And I have to say, it is possible that there is someone who is thinking about you, you know, who views you as a missed opportunity, possibly, you know, with the missed opportunity, the one that got away. And that is the Ace of Swords. That's the breakthrough. What confession you're going to get. Spirit, why is the Ace of Swords here twice? Why is the Ace of Swords here twice? The Eight of Pentacles, the opportunity, the focus, the dedication. I got to be honest there, you know, if this is going into business with someone starting your own business, it will be um, in terms of work and career, a breakthrough that you have been manifesting and it will turn out very successful. You're following your passion. You know, it may require walking away from 
you know, your nine to five job or the job that you've been at for 25 years or more, but you're taking a leap of faith and you're following that passion, it turns out to be a success. And why is the page of wands here, spirit? The eight of swords. Yeah, you are breaking free and successfully moving on. Whether it be a business opportunity, whether it be about a loving relationship, you are breaking free and moving on successfully. You're taking that stress, that anxiety, and you're turning it into a positive. For those of you dealing with a fire sign, it is starting off as a page of wands, remember, and in the overall, it's a king of wands. So there is an upscale to that energy. All right, let's see what else we can get for my Capricorn spirit. All right. Home based, like I said, nurturing those connections that feel like home, feeling emotionally happy. By the end of June, possibly somebody either reconnecting with you or a new soulmate coming into your life that feels like home. There it is. I really feel with the four of cups and imprint here. You've made an impact on someone. There is someone thinking about you. I feel that they have something that they want to confess to you, open up about. They truly find you unforgettable. And then there it is. Remember I said 10, 10, 10. You're shedding certain things. So pay attention to twos. We also have um, 10, 10, 10. So we have two, two here. 10, 10, 10. Anything else? All right. Yeah, you're shedding certain cycles certain chapters those things that are showing up to not be resonating or causing you any form of happiness in life anymore you're very finding it very content to walk away from it that shows how much strength and how much power that you're finding along this journey All right, we have universe. Like I said, the universe, your spirit guides. Remember, lion spirit, be generous of spirit. You got a whole team backing you up that you don't even know about. That are listening to all your thoughts. That are watching you from afar. And the happiness that's about to come into your life. I really feel that there is someone that you're... For some of you, not all of you, that you're longing for, that someone is missing you, and you are going to hear from them. All right, let's see. But it's also, you know, with headache there, again, shedding that type of energy. Anyone that comes in seems like an annoyance. Um, you can see within their body language that... They'd rather be anywhere else but talking to you. You know, it's basically like, <laughs> screw you. You There are certain people you're walking away from. This is a six, the six of cups. I really feel that there is a revisit of the past for some of you. All the good things are coming towards you in the month of June. All the richness... You may love chocolate, and then this is a sign that this is meant for you. All the good stuff. But I really feel a celebration in the month of June for you, and I feel like your mood is elevated. You're drawing in these blessings. All right, Capricorn, I'm going to get messages from your higher self for the month of June. Speak up. And speak out. Let your voice be heard and clear. So this reminds me of the seven of wands standing your ground about what you want. 
Remember the Ice King spirit compromising for what, you, you know, lowering your guard down for what you feel driven towards. Not doing everything to make other people happy, but doing things that are going to make you happy. Guilt is a normal feeling. Just breathe in and let it go. All right, Scrabble Tiles. And guys, you know, the link to my Etsy shop is in the description box of every reading. I did go down to part-time availability throughout the summer. Most of you know why. Um, but there are still readings that are being offered. All right, P-H-N-U-R-Z-I-J-M-K-K. D, Y. All right, take what resonates. Make sure you leave that vacation emoji down below. And, you know, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't done so already. I am sending each and every one of you so much love and light for the month of June.